Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can actually upgrade your weapons and your armor to ensure that you have the absolute best when it comes to taking on the different events in Dragon Quest, The Adventures of Die, A Hero's Bonds. But first, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go down, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I'm uploading a new video. And don't forget that thumbs up button because it definitely turns around and helps out the video, helps out the channel, and ensures more people have the opportunity to learn the same information. Now, let's go ahead and jump in. So if you actually go down to Upgrade and Manage, the very top one there is going to be your equipment. So we can just go ahead and jump in. Now we can take a look at the equipment list. We can actually scrap equipment to be able to get some additional uh, currency in order to uh, utilize for later on. Then you can also upgrade and evolve your equipment. So if we actually just hit the top one for upgrade and uh, evolve your equipment, now you can actually see I've got all kinds of different stuff going on here. So the thing that's pretty nice is that you can actually see I've got a couple different things that are maxed out. Now here, this is the Lightning Lance. This is the item that everybody gets for free. It's a four-star uh, weapon and is for your hero. So this right here is able to turn around and give a couple different things set up. And as you can see, I'm maxed out on level 15 on that. So all you actually have to do is turn around and if you just jump into something like this, you can actually choose between small weapon or medium weapon or or large weapon or essentially it's all the black crystals that you get when doing certain events and all you have to do is either just simply increase by hitting any of these numbers there but with the plus and minus and you're all set or you can uh, down at the bottom hit the reset button or you can actually go and hit the auto button and it'll automatically make the best decision for you so that way you're not overusing any of your materials now in addition, you can kind of come down here, you can take a look at different equipment, and, and I actually I would automatically have all of my equipment set up to save with the, um, uh, to, to actually lock it out. And so all I have to do is unlock it, and now this becomes available, so now I can actually go through, and I can use equipment as well to turn around and level up the item so as you can see another three star the exact same thing I just instantly five levels right there that's all you have to do and then if you scroll down here we can grab a another weapon uh, this is just a one star you're only gonna get a plus three for that so it's not much uh, if you actually turn around and threw a, a two star I jumped up eight levels right there as you can see it's a pretty big difference when you're uh, using some of the different items um, here you can actually see, uh, let's see here, what else is there, uh, just the, there you gain two levels with a, a two star equipment, again just a, a little bit there, so as you can see depending upon what you actually use to increase, it, it makes a difference. The other thing that you can do when it comes down to uh, trying to make your equipment better, if you actually take a look here you're going to see the three, or excuse me, the four diamonds down at the bottom here. So let's actually back out again and we're going to jump into this. Just right up here at the top you can see the four diamonds. That is actually a way you can increase that so it even becomes more pow powerful and raise your level cap because this particular weapon right now is only maxed out at level 15 but as you can see like this one right here you can see I'm maxed out at level 15 but this one right here I'm actually maxed out at level 30 and as you can see I've got three red diamonds down at the bottom. Every one of those diamonds gains you another five levels. So that way you can become even more powerful and add everything from that standpoint. Not to mention every time you increase the levels, as we jump back in here, you can see I'm actually raising the traits. And these traits are able to turn around and give you more. So originally I started out at 10%, well now I'm at 12%. If I turn around and I can pull up one more of this Mystic uh, Rapier, I will actually go to 15. So it definitely helps out a lot. Some of them have second uh, traits that increase as they go on from that. This right here is another prime example. We bring this one up. Um, this one actually is only currently level 17, so I need to finish upgrading this. But as you can see here, I'm at level 3 for the one. I get a 50% uh, increase to light users. But let's just say I want to turn around and upgrade just so you can see it live in action. That's all I have to do is just hit that button. And we're just going to go ahead and increase this 
and that's all you got to do. Just as simple as that, you can turn around and raise the equipment. Now, you have to remember, it does take a lot of resources to raise the power of equipment to get it maxed out. And what I would recommend is that you only focus on your four star and three stars because if you try to do anything more than four or three stars, like if you're trying to go for one or twos, when you're upgrading, do what you need to to complete. So if you have to, I mean these right here, I actually had to increase to 15 these two items right here, which I don't really need them anymore, so I can actually unlock these. Um, so that way I wouldn't have to worry about anything as far as you know, selling them or I can use them to increase the uh, the power of some of the other items. But with that right there, that is definitely a benefit. You know, you do what you have to on two stars to get past. You really shouldn't have to raise the level um, or upgrade anything that's a one star uh, before you start getting more two star uh, uh, items. But definitely threes, because threes you're going to need a lot. Most people are going to have threes. Uh, in order to continue on and just simply play the game as is. But this is actually going to work the exact same way for each one of these between your weapons, your shield, uh, your uh, uh, top half of the armor, and the bottom half of the armor. And again, same thing, I can go through and actually evolve any of these items just by simply clicking on one here and then select the one that I want to evolve. That's it. That's all you got to do. As you can see, my evolution jumped from level 1 to level 2. Max level went from 20 to 25. And my trait there on the sword went from level 1 to level 2 so you can actually take a look at it it's at 10 percent increase it I go to 12 percent very simple on that and that works the exact same way the other thing gold gold is probably the most valuable resource so far that I've noticed in the game because there's a lot of things I simply can't do because I don't have enough gold so please make sure that you're paying attention to everything that you're doing when it comes down to figuring out how you want to level up and really try to find the best weapons that you can the other thing that I want to show you about scrapping, so I can actually turn around, if you notice up at the top here, you have weapons and then you have armor. So if I actually increase, you can see where I just moved one silver on that. And that's going to turn around and help you out to be able to purchase other items. So I can turn around and as you can see I'm, I'm increasing everything. And even if you notice here, um, I, when I'm increasing one that's already max level, I'm getting actually more for it uh, versus if I didn't do it any other way. So that obviously even if you've invested something, it definitely helps out that way. But even if we turn around here and we go back a little bit more and go into exchange, we can go into our weapon fragments here and then I can change out weapon fragments to actually purchase more things such as scrolls, uh, stamina, skip tickets, which I love skip tickets, I'll tell you that much right now. Um, special ice scrolls to be able to help out, because as of right now, I don't think there's any other way to be able to get ice uh, items within the game. And then uh, really kind of going through soul crystals, red challenge tickets, I mean those are amazing. Uh, so kind of gives you an idea not to mention gold in general, so kind of helps you out figure out those kind of things. But otherwise, that's it, that's going to be today's video. Um, please make sure you guys don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. But otherwise, that's it. That's today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.